So this is a panther that I did, and this is on velour paper. It, uh, it's a really unusual paper, but lots of uh, pastel artists like to use it because it renders fur really well. Although I'm not super happy with that one. I think the learning curve of the velour was a bit much. Um, this one's on pastel mat. I did a walkthrough tutorial on uh, one of my YouTube videos with this one. I also did a video about this one. This one I used a solvent for, so I mixed colored pencils and solvent on a pastel matte surface. And then this one is a close-up of a cat eye. I also did a YouTube video showing how I created this one. This one was a relatively quick and easy one to do. He was very fun. I love doing eyes. This was just a sketch. Looks like it's in colored pencil, but it's in pastel pencil. And then following along with the fruit idea, this is an oversized pear. I'm not sure why I did it quite so big. And I deliberated on, on creating this for so long that the pear went from green to kind of almost slightly moldy. So that's why it's the color that it is. And um, so, uh, my friend Ted said to me that he wouldn't eat it. <laughs> Changing mediums. This is an unfinished watercolor that I did of some autumnal leaves. Um, this is using a sanguine pencil. Uh, this is um, an after Michelangelo drawing. This is a recent botanical illustration using colored pencils, uh, using Premier Prismacolor colored pencils. This one is Woman in Turban, and it's a charcoal drawing. And that one is a time lapse on my channel. This one is copying from the old masters, again, using sanguine pencils. Um, a p p pencil, I used to be in a library group and we would take our drawings up and draw for a couple of hours. Uh, this one is a colored pencil drawing of a close-up um, of a tulip. I don't do quite so much with colored pencils, but I'm looking to get back into it. Uh, moving back to pastel pencils, this is an unfinished one of a snake. I just need to uh, work on this area here. Love the background colors. Always like the combination of green and purple. This is a YouTube uh, video it's a charcoal drawing of some um, realistic baby shoes. Uh, actually, I did this one twice. Um, the first time I did it, I didn't uh, record it, and it turned out quite well. I was just doodling away. So I decided to do it again to create um, a video out of it. And then we have a colored pencil on a mid-tone gray. This is using um, a Strathmore tone gray mixed media paper. I really had great fun doing this one, turned that one into a YouTube video too. And then I wanted to play with some hyperrealism and I did this graphite uh, which is of um, a teaspoon. Another one that I wasn't expecting to do a video of, so I created it twice. And I um, can't remember which one I did second time. 
around now. Um, really not sure, they're both kind of similar. And spoons again, this is an older one actually, I think it's this way around, using a charcoal pencil of some uh, blueberries and then just to close my latest chihuahua using um, some pastel papers with a pan pastel background. Once again, thank you so much for taking um, a look into my portfolio.